Good afternoon YouTube, it's Monday, release day, you're supposed to get excited by release day aren't you really, but what can I say, what was that bothered really, it's a middle of the road release sheet for the middle of the month, that's all I can say really, we'll get straight into what's actually out today, take a look at what's exciting for next week, and believe me it's slim pickings. And one pre-order which is uh, piquing my interest in America at the moment. So let me know if, you, if you're going to be getting that one as well. And of course, I'll take you through the prizes for this Friday. So what is actually out today? We have the 2001 4K Steelbook, which of course does look amazing. Um, probably wouldn't pick it up myself. I've just picked it up normal, minor upscale. I'm more interested in finding 2010 right now. So... Let me know if you're going to get that because it is an amazing looking box. Uh, we have Pitch Black finally, supposedly, supposedly arriving. Let me know if you picked that up today and did it have a slip cover? Because Jamie Powell found one a couple of weeks back in HMV with a slip cover, but they had a public statement where they weren't going to ship with slip covers. So, what's happened? That's 4K and Blu ray. Let me know if it's actually arrived. Spartacus 4K, the normal edition, has come out today as well awesome film you just got to get it whether it's normal or 4k just get it either way the first series of Batwoman I don't understand why she does one series and quits I mean uh, that would just piss me off I, I wouldn't want to see another series of it basically but there you go I wouldn't pick that one up myself we have Deathstroke Knights and Dragons I'm not that into these uh, these animated ones as much but uh, it has some quite good uh, reviews online so I might just dabble in that one at some point uh, we have can't read me writing my eyes are going funny what the fuck does that say whatever title I put up here because I can't actually read my writing I know it's an oldie but I can't read it and then we have five I can't read my writing I think it says five games to come, but it'll be it'll be right there, whatever it is. I'm having a good day today, ain't I? Uh, Gamara, the complete collection. I've never been that in, into these uh, Japanese monster things, but that's just me. Um, we have Equius, which is a classic. That's, that's out on Blu-ray today. Who done it? And that's with Benny Hill. Now, I have a special affinity for Benny Hill because when I was a, like five, six years old, my nan used to take me out to breakfast used to trundle into Shirley and meet up with breakfast with Benny Hill yeah he lived in Southampton so back then of course I didn't know who he was but it was actually Benny Hill he's a friend of my nan's so he's a cool guy I think he's gone now but there you go uh, last time on the left another one of those classic horrors that's out today and something called afterlife which I haven't got a clue about so not really that much to get your skirt blowing up anywhere near it, up around your knees or anything really. Um, you're going to get disappointing weeks. I mean, yes, there's a couple of, I mean, pitch black going to be good, yeah. But there's not that much else that really blows my skirt up if you if you want to be on, I mean, to be honest. Let me know what you're picking up today. I still see that Clarence Ghost has picked up a few things today. I'm going to look for his whole video later. Now, let's have a quick look into next week. There's a few bits and bobs, but there's really only one title that's got me excited for next week. And that is the 4K Steelbook for Fifth Element. Now, it's coming out as, uh, obviously, the Steelbook. It's coming out in 4K, and it's coming out Blu-ray as well. I have this as an American release, but which plays in the UK for some reason. But, awesome film. Crazy nut style. Definitely worth having. I can't wait to see what it looks like in 4K. And the one thing that's been getting me excited pre-order wise is go take a look on Amazon US for V for Vendetta. It's a 4K gift set collector's type thing. Very nicely done. I've got a picture of it there. $49.99. Yeah, that's something I wouldn't mind getting over here. Let me know your thoughts on that one as well. Now, I'm not going to surprise you with some Australian shit because yes again it has still not turned up. So I'm getting so close to blowing Australia up right now. It seems to be, if you put it on normal post apparently, it's taking its time getting on any kind of plane. But it's been over two months, so I'm starting to get pissed. I might be asking for my money back soon, but you know, I've got like 50 quid's worth of stuff. 
which is really annoying. But let me know what your what your time scales on your Australian orders like at the moment because it's getting a bit annoying. Let's do the important thing. Let's just review the prizes for next week. Now, I I wanted to give away a bit of 3D. So we looked at oh look, there's, there's some highlights of 3D. Well, that's a bit of a crappy prize. So I backed it up with Civil War for anyone who ain't got it, and of course a bit of 3D. <laughs> Gotta have a bit of 3D. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I said it like that. And thanks to one of my viewers, we will know who he is. We had three steelbooks for the other prize. So we have Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy, Gary Oldman rocks in that. Wanted, Angelina Jolie rocks in that. And the Dark Knight Rises, one of the classics you just gotta have as a steelbook. Now, I tell you, if any of you are trundling around um, any like, um, charity shops, and you see this version, the steelbook version, but it has like the car in the box and everything. That's worth about 70 quid second hand. So always pick it up if you find it. Oh yes. But there you go. I still have a few things due apart from my Australian stuff, so I don't know where the hell that lot's got to. I think my uh, my uh, postman's starting to take the piss a bit now. I know, yeah, they may be a bit short staff, so don't take our fucking money. That's my take on it. If you can't provide the service, don't fucking take the money. But tomorrow I should be getting all my posts out for my competitions as well. So you guys will finally get hold of your prizes. It does cost a bit to send, you get my drift? But we'll get there. Now, nice short video for you today. Let me know what you're up to uh, through the week. What you're looking forward to that's coming out. Bear in mind, go to Peter, Blu-ray Bullet, Brit Ainsley. For all the latest news when it comes to pre-ordering and stuff like that. Lots of good stuff. Hopefully we're coming on pre-order very soon. There's a lot of nostalgia coming out this year because obviously we don't have mainstream films because nothing's been released. But I really think they should have put Mulan out on 4K rather than $30 just to rent it. That's a bit stupid if you ask me. Disney being a bit uh, cheap ass if you ask me there. They would have sold a lot more 4Ks of that film. It looks bloody good. Let me know your thoughts on that as well. Now, we've been out in the garden most of the day. Uh, unfortunately, this... Uh, the reason the whole country is cooled down is me, plain and simple. 35 degree weather, I put up a gazebo, I put up a swimming pool. I fill the swimming pool, it proceeds to piss down for the next two days. And last night at four in the morning, a storm hit of such ferocity, it literally shredded everything in that garden. My gazebo is fucked. So I just spent half a day clearing that up, yay. So that's my that's the start to my week. Let me know how yours is going. Take care, everybody. See you tomorrow with a nice little top ten and a bit more info. We'll see what we can get going there as well. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your day.